Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the local or relative maxima and minima. Maxima and minima are simply the plural of maximum and minimum. In this particular function we only have a local maximum and one local minimum. And a maximum, in this case, looks like a local hilltop. It is the highest point on the function with the function sloping down on both sides. Now please be careful, we have to consider the x and the y value when looking at the function. X is the input, Y is the output, or Y is the function output. So in this case, as we trace this function, we see that the function is increasing as, we, as X approaches negative 2, and then we reach the top of this local hilltop uh, at negative 2 comma 3. Then we slope down, and we reach this valley at X equals 0, Y is negative 1, and then we go up again. Now, one point to be clear about, this local hilltop, this does not mean that this is the highest point on the entire function. The function obviously increases to positive infinity, but it is a local maximum. It is the highest point in this region of the graph. Same thing with this valley over here. It is the smallest point, even though to the left of our function it does slope down to negative infinity. So let's take a look at how we uh, describe these things in in uh, mathematical notation. So we're going to say that we have a local maxima, or maximum in this case, oops, local maximum at, and this is where we have to be careful about x and y, the, the location of the maximum is the x value. So we have a local maximum at x equals negative 2. When we have x equals negative 2, the function gives us a local maximum value. And so how do we find what that function value is? By plugging negative 2 into the function. So f of negative 2 gives us, and again in this graph, f of negative 2 is actually 3. So this is our actual maximum. Likewise, we can do the same thing with our uh, minimums. So we can have a local minimum. And again, the word at is used to describe the x value. Where is this function going to have a local minimum? It's going to have a local minimum at x equals 0. And again, this is the input. x equals 0 is the input into the function. And what is the local minimum? Well, we plug 0 into our function. f of 0 gives us our local minimum value. And again, the function's output value is, in this case, negative 1. So this is the actual minimum. And when I say minimum, I really mean local. Just like when I said maximum, I really mean local. So hopefully that cleared things up a bit about local max and local min.